Terminal is a 7.5 inch e-ink display screen dashboard thing designed to help keep your head out of your phone just a little bit more. It's small, it's unobtrusive, it's out of the way. And funny story, really quickly, I, when I first saw this, like a long time ago, I think it was an ad for their Kickstarter, or maybe I was just on Kickstarter, I immediately reached out and said, hey, I want one, can I review one? And they were like, yes, but we don't even have like a prototype yet, basically. So I've been aware of this for a long time and I was super excited when they reached back out and said like, we have some now, can we send you one for review? This thing is really cool, but it's also out of the way. We'll explain here as we dive into the review. So we always kind of start with like, what is it and why you should care? So it's basically like a dedicated dashboard, an e-ink, easy on the eyes thing that you might put on your desk or the wall that shares really whatever information you'd want to see. The weather, calendar, YouTube analytics, stock prices. Really, if you can dream it, you can put it on here. And I think that's what makes it so special. Basically, it's like clarity at a glance. So you can see different information that you would normally pull out your smartphone for, but it'll just be there, nice, and waiting for you out of the way. Terminal, the company, have kind of taken this approach of like this device is to help save you time that you would have spent doom scrolling, for instance. So they actually measure that time through their app. We'll dive into all that here in just a second. But with this, there's no apps, there's no algorithms. It's just your key data without a blue light on it in monochrome waiting for your next glance. Let's talk about the design and the build. I mentioned before, it's a 7.5 inch e-ink. It's not the highest pixel density ever. It's an 800 by 480 display. It has this really soft kind of plastic on it. It's kind of hard to explain. It just feels really nice. And then on the back, you do have the ability to hang it on the wall. And then they have this nice kickstand as well. You just want to stand it up in your desk. USB-C charging, an on and off switch, and then sort of a little functional button that you can sort of map to a few different things. Super thin, super sleek, super simple, super light. It does everything you need it to. So if you're aware of e-ink, obviously this is just baked in in between refreshes. So it's a very like paper, like almost like it was printed on this material experience. I will say that one of the first things I noticed was this top wasn't entirely flat. That's just gonna happen as you're mass producing stuff like this made of plastic and light. It's definitely to like any normal person besides me and my OCD self not noticeable. But I actually went with the sage green color, which looks really gray on this screen, I know. But they do have white and black, and I think even like a wood color, almost the color of my desk here, which is interesting. That might be like a limited edition. And I'm sure they'll come out with other limited editions as well. I could see you having like quite a few of these around the house or around the office displaying different things. So it's nice to have different sort of styles to fit the perfect space. So let's talk about the function of this. How does it work? How well does it work? That kind of thing. So before we hop into like the dashboard here and how you actually push stuff to this display, just from like a really simple way of looking at this, it basically gets data pushed to it. It can't have data pulled from it. So privacy is like a non-issue basically when it comes to that kind of thing. I have mine set up to refresh every five minutes and it's done through like these playlists. So every five minutes it'll show something new. Like right now it's got this five past nine. I haven't obviously set up the right time on here. It's not five past nine in the morning or at night, but it basically does that. Like it, it just sends a signal that it, you know, once a refresh, it sends the data over via the playlist. You know, you can build these things. I'll show you here in just a second. And that's kind of it. The least amount you can do is every five minutes. You could have it switch over every hour, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, or just have it be one single display that refreshes and updates. I think if I just had this sort of clock situation, then every five minutes, it would just update the time instead of flipping over to a new dashboard. Base model comes with 1800 milliamp hour battery, which ultimately isn't a huge battery, but it doesn't need to be because of how low power this uses. You can upgrade to a 2500 milliamp hour battery. It's like $10 more, it's nothing crazy, but this is the difference between like four months of usage without charging and six months of usage without charging, I think. And depending on how, how often you refresh the data, it can last even longer than that. This connects to Wi-Fi to pull this data, so you will have to set that up at the beginning. So there's obviously plugins built by terminal. There's plugins built by users who then upload 
those so you can take advantage of them and then you can make your own. I'm not smart enough to make my own, but there's a lot of options already in there and a huge and growing community using these. So there's gonna be more and more of these plugins that you can take advantage of. Now, I don't understand this terminology, but I'm gonna read it to you in case it makes sense to you. You can build your own via REST API, liquid templates, HTML, CSS, JS. Last thing I'll say is this button on the back, the functionality that you can use there. You can skip to the next one, rewind. You can identify the device, which basically just shows a QR code so that you can connect it to your phone and then to Wi-Fi kind of thing. You can launch into guest mode, which is pretty interesting. You can reset the Wi-Fi and send the current screen via email and more stuff like that. So the bu button on the back is highly functional. I don't use it a lot. I use it if I'm like, oh, I wanna see the next screen right now instead of waiting, you just click that, which I can show you right now what that looks like. Let's see, scoop. So it doesn't show the terminal logo between every single one. There we go. I've got Bible verse a day kind of thing going on there. Right, so the software here that you're gonna use to pick and choose what goes to this is kind of all done in this sort of web browser here, which you can access on your phone or your computer. Really, it just has to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the device itself. And you can see right now, I've got this calendar someone else has made. I've got the office quotes. I've got a mashup, which is pretty interesting. And I'll show you here in a second. HubSpot, which I haven't really connected up yet. Google Calendar, days left this year. Year. And what you can do is like, you kind of see all this here. You can buy a new one. There's news here, which is from Terminal on what they've been up to kind of thing. Then you can come to this plugin section, which is where you find all of this stuff, right? That other people have made. Apple Photos, you can push photos to this. You can do stock prices, your Bitcoin wallet, your calendar. Like there's so, so many of these. And like I said, if there isn't something here that you are looking for, you can make it yourself, which is kind of wild. There's even like multiple instances of like different types of weather apps and things like that. So you don't have to just go with one. Todoist, you can put your to-do lists on here. There's a lot to choose from. You can search for them here if you have an idea of what you want. And then they have the hashtags to be able to find them. Uh, let's look for productivity, right? Tick, tick, chat GPT. I don't know how that works really, but these are kind of the ones that I've chosen. And then if you come to, how do I find it? here playlist right so this is where once you add these things you can create these playlists and basically it will cycle through all of the plugins that you have in your playlist specifically if you come in here to weather for instance if you click on it you can set up you know what your address is running virginia and you want it to be imperial forecast headings are today and tomorrow you can set miles per hour and all those different kinds of units then you can say like how often you want this to update which i thought i had it more often and i need to update it because it's just showing me what it thought or what it what the weather was this morning, I wanna do every 15 minutes. That way my data is up to date when it does refresh. So I'm gonna save that. So that's kinda of how that works. And you can build these playlists. You can add different groups. So you can select between the groups and then you can add these, which is basically like a, a dashboard, right? So you can, let's see, this mashup here. Uh, let me see if I can cycle through. So we're on the verse of the day. We're gonna to have to cycle a few times. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hide these. So I'll hide pollen and my calendar and my office quote and that simple calendar and I'll show you what one of these mashups looks like. So hopefully that will go straight to this top one here. You can basically take any of these plugins and then put them in whatever, which one, whichever one of these layouts that you want. So your dashboard can have a few of these different plugins shown at once. You can see I have days left of the year, 20 past nine on there, which is the clock for instance, and then a calendar here. And you can sort of pick and choose how you want that set up as you can see. So in a nutshell, like that's how this thing works. And I've really been loving it, I think that the company seems exciting and invested and it. it's, it's such a simple tool, but I think it does save time. And it does, you know, the fact that you can display whatever you want on here is just super helpful. Like I said, I, I could see someone buying a few of these, having them display different things around the office. You could put it outside of an office, like a meeting room, and it may, you know, it might display who's on the calendar for that meeting room at a certain time, or like a conference room. Currently they have black, white, clear, and then sage, gray, and wood. Those are the limited editions. The gray looks really nice. And like I said, there's the wood. The clear one's kind of neat too. But 
but you can see, you know, the default pricing is $139 and the limited edition is $154. Personally, I think that's pretty great myself. Might be a little pricey, but I just think that like the whole community aspect and everything that goes into this and the fact that, you know, people are getting more and more excited about it. I think like prices will probably go up. <laughs> In fact, I know they will if they're being smart and being a good company. I would love to see them come out with a few different sizes, which may or may not be on their you know, pipeline or playbook for the future of the company, but this is really cool. It's something that I think is just helpful. Next, I think, you know, just talking about who it's for, I definitely think someone in an office environment, someone like me, a creator, someone who's just working at a desk who every now and then needs to see different information that's just helpful to know, that they don't have to go searching for it, that it can just be displayed there, they can peek at it, it's out of the way, it doesn't take up a ton of battery, you're not gonna be charging this every night or every weekend, it's just, quiet and it sits there and it just quietly displays helpful information so really i could see anyone using this a teacher using this and the fact that you can create your own thing is pretty neat as well there's not like a easy drag and drop kind of tool to be able to do that but maybe we'll see that in the future as well but anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and thanks to Terminal for sending this out for a review. If you'd like to pick yours up, there will be a link in the description. We will try to get you all a discount code. Thanks for watching. On this channel, we talk about tech that marries form and function. We love tech that both improves our lives and looks good while doing so. So if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing and like this video for more. Watch this video next. I think you're gonna love it. And we'll see you all in the next one.